my name is Andreas Fallman and I'm a comparative physiologist from Fundación Oceanographic. This study is an interdisciplinary study where we have people from different fields. So we have engineers, we have veterinarians, we have marine biologists, we have physiologists that are coming together to try to create a new tool with the way we can measure blood flow and oxygen content in tissues and in the blood in marine mammals to be able to help wild animals, in this case wild dolphins. Working with Dolphin Quest and other accredited marine mammal facilities is extremely important because here we can collect data in control situations. We can validate tools, we know what the animals are doing, we know their health, we know their age. So here we can do things that are difficult or impossible in the wild. So what we're interested in is how and why the animals can go ahead and swim as efficiently as they do. So we're interested in measuring how they move or the kinematics with the sensors and then we're also interested in understanding the physiology. So what's happening inside that the animals are, are doing to track those muscles to go ahead and result in the movement. So we're able to ask and answer interesting scientific questions here that we couldn't answer in the wild and we're able to develop and test the hardware and the algorithms and the approach that we would use to collect the data successfully from wild animals. The data and the information we can gain from these tools are extremely important. We need to understand the energy budget of these animals or how many calories they need, which then translate into how many fish they need. And if the amount of fish is decreasing because of human impact like climate change and overfishing, we can mitigate this. We can maybe save certain areas of the oceans for these species for these animals where we know they need to have food, where we know they breathe and where they go at certain times of the year. With these data we can then develop these new tools and we can then study animals in the open ocean where we can make a great impact to animal conservation.